Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Carl's host. He did update it. The payloads are loading a lot quicker now, and there's no need to launch the bin loader from Goal 10 options. So we're going to jump right into the video. Um, go over to our settings. We'll show you that I do not have the Goal 10 options, as well as I don't have debug settings. We'll go up to our network, and we'll just go ahead and make sure that we do have it connected. And if not, we'll go ahead and check connect to the internet. Go ahead and back out of there and we'll launch our browser. Just do the usual here. We'll close our windows, uh, delete all. Go ahead and go to our browser history, clear that as well. And then finally go into our settings and delete our cookies and clear our website data. Now we'll go into our bookmarks and I already have it bookmarked here. We're just going to go to the main host, which is caro218.ir. And from there, we're going to go ahead and select the 900 or 9.00 NA. Go ahead and select it. It will install the cache, but it shouldn't take too long at all. As you can see, it is going pretty quick. Uh, we're at 25% already. So I was on here previously, um, just testing it out and checking out everything that's available. And after I loaded Gold 10, everything was very quick. Um, so I think that you're going to like this here, new feel, and uh, yeah, so I'll just jump right into it once we do get the cache loaded, and we should be good to go. Um, so there's 100%, and then we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Now you don't need to disconnect from the internet, but for the video, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from the internet just to show you that you don't need to be connected each time. We'll go ahead and launch our browser. And once we launch it, it will start doing the jailbreak. So we'll just wait for the message to pop up to insert our USB. And once it does, we'll go ahead and just insert our USB. Then we'll wait for the message to pop up on supported file system. And there we go. About two seconds after, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And the jailbreak is complete. So we'll go ahead and remove our USB. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now we'll bring us into the main page here. And from here, we just need to go ahead and launch our Goal 10. And we're going to be using the newest one, which is version 2, B2. Go ahead and select it. And as you can see, Goal 10 loads up with no issues. Uh, we can go ahead and launch another payload. Um, let's go with the Orbis's Toolbox, one of my favorites. Go ahead and select it. And as you can see, it comes up with no issues. Um, FTP, we can't launch FTP because our internet is disabled. It will just shut down. Let's go ahead and disable updates. It's another good one. As you can see, they are loading. Now, this works for all the payloads that are in, in here. Um, I'm going to show you something here. For the FTP, it will just shut down because there's no internet. But if we go ahead and hit the PlayStation button and come over to our settings and then go ahead and enable our network, and then go ahead and back out of there again and launch our browser. It will do the jailbreak again, but we won't need to insert our USB this time um, as we already did it, but it will have to go through the jailbreak process over again. Okay, and once it's done, then we can go ahead and just launch the FTP. And as you can see, it does pop up and it will give us a, our IP and port without having to shut down because we are connected to the internet. Um, Go ahead and hit our PlayStation button, and uh, we'll go over to our settings. You can see that we do have the Gold 10 options here as well. Um, everything is there. We can enable the bin loader server if Carl's host doesn't have something that you want to launch from a different host. Then you can go ahead and enable the bin loader, and then go ahead and launch that payload. Um, as well as the FTP, if you want to use port 2121, that is there as well. You can go ahead and use it. Uh, as for Orbis's toolbox, all the settings are there. And we still got our debug settings down here if you want to go ahead and use anything down there. But yeah, that's basically it for the video, guys. I just want to jump on, show you that it's uh, Caro did work on it today or recently and uh, fixed a lot of issues there. But I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.